Alright, here we go. We got Celtics and Lakers, base throwback packs. If I do these, I'll get some more tokens. The more tokens, the better. I am 32 tokens away from another diamond player coming to my team. And so far, we've gotten Melo and we've got Pages. So, if we get 32 more tokens, I think these two sets give me 30 tokens total, 15 each. I'll be one step closer to getting Rashard Lewis, Baron Davis. I don't know which one I want yet. Probably gonna go with e Diddy. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't decided yet which one I want. Charlie Scott's really good. People don't like him, I guess. But yeah, we're on the road to getting those completed so we can get some pink diamonds and stuff like that. Because I need that Paul Pierce in my life. People don't realize how much I like playing with Paul Pierce. So hopefully we can pull a Paul Pierce in these packs. That's not a pink diamond, just a diamond. But hey, let's get the ribbon. Ten pack box, fifty. A 20 pack, 168. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, let's check this out. So, I'm trying to do math in my head. You don't get a, you get a guarantee? No, you don't get a guarantee. I don't trust it. Ah, we're gonna go right here and pull singles then, y'all. You already know, singles is the way to go. We end up getting Reggie Lewis and a Ruby right off the bat. No, I'm gonna just keep doing that. I'm gonna keep doing that until I get diamond contracts. I'm a diamond contract. I'm gonna pull all different types. I'll pull all three different types of packs because they, they're different. I don't want to pull all the same cards. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If we're not gonna pull a throwback player. Let me stay away from Let me stay away from those packs. Because if we get, we're not getting um, throwback players, you are pointless. Guaranteed. All right, let me get these. The, the, these two right here. That's the, those are the ones I'll work with. Not the first one. The first one they giving me guarantees. We'll be able to get somebody from these packs. Kurt Rambis getting closed by, you know, by, you know. It's, I love this. I love the idea that, you know, they gave us Lakers and Celtics in a pack together. The, the biggest rivalry in NBA history, you could say. You give those two teams packs as we get a Sapphire Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge is looking good with Boston, man. I mean, they're they're they're, fig they're figuring it out after they have that team meeting. Uh, what about, we got any Boston felt uh, Boston Celtics fans in here? Because everybody crowned them to be Eastern Conference champions, it's still going to be a ways to go. But I think they'll be able to put it together for a little bit and see what they're going to do in the postseason. Um, I think this postseason means a lot to the Celtics because if they don't do what they thought they were going to do. They are probably gonna have to blow it up with and make some trades. Don't blow up the whole team, but I just think they need one more superstar. Al Horford's getting up there in age. You don't know if Kyrie's gonna sign back. He said he's gonna sign back. You don't know. You got other things going on as well. You got Jalen Brown. What about the stunting of the growth of Jason Tatum by having Gordon Hayward back a little bit? You know, just like all around, you're trying to figure out what the Celtics are gonna do because they got a lot of guys that play the same position. I know it's positionless basketball, but at the same time, Jason Tatum, you kind of want him to be your superstar of the future, and you, it's got to be up to the management to figure out how they're going to get that to work, because Gordon Hayward ain't been fitting since he came, he came back, because he just doesn't fit the system right now, but I don't know if you want to build a system around him when you saw what Jason Tatum can do, so it's one of those interesting things about the Celtics. So I, I'm ready to see what they do in the postseason. Now with the Lakers, they're the I think they're currently the sixth seed. So we'll see how they play. But, all right, we got another Byron Scott. And with the cards like this, y'all, hold on to them. Anytime you get a card from these throwback packs, even if you don't want them, hold on to them because once these packs go away in, in the future, in like a month. They skyrocket in price because there's not any on the auction house. So how many have I pulled so far? I had over two hundred thousand. I still got a hundred thousand. I'm gonna pull the box. I'm gonna pull the box. I'm gonna pull this box right here. A twenty pack box, and I'm gonna end it. I pulled my singles. Let me pull my twenty pack box. I didn't go for the big box. I didn't. I didn't want to risk it all. I didn't want to risk the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. 
All right, Eric Gordon. All right, that's that's probably why I should have pulled the other packs. Okay, horse grip. There we go. Somebody. Oh, these packs are flying. I like this. Run hard. And I'll probably just go spend some MT to get the other guys I don't have. All right. I'm about to tie this game. I'm going to rustle my packs. That's like the most pulled card in, in 2K. Willie Herney Gomez. If y'all going to give me current players, give me current players that are silver. Yo, this, this box was definitely not it. This is the box you stay away from. All right. Y'all see the box I pulled? Avoid this box at all costs. Jamal Wilkes. One of the weirdest jump shots ever. I don't know how 2K plays with him. All right, all right, all right, now, hey, hey, come on now, give me some cards. All right, I feel like this is gonna be something. This is, this is hurt me, this is hurt me, yo. All right, this is the one. All right, the announcer for the Celtics right there. He's the most biased announcer in sports, I'm not gonna lie to you, Tommy Heisman. Very biased, biased. <laughs> All right, we got a couple Reggie Lewis's out there now. Javon Carter, we getting, we getting bronzes. We don't even get silvers, we get bronzes. Can't base more. How many packs I got left before I cry? All right, 15 packs left. I mean, five packs left. And we still haven't seen anything great. Not a Namathus in sight, not a Diamond Paul Pierce, nothing. They didn't want to get you, your boy anything. You get Clay Thompson. He's always gonna sell for a little bit. All right, here we go. Come on, give me something. Another Tommy Heisen. We got a silver. Any silver is a good silver. There we go. Who is the Amethyst? Who is the Amethyst? I can't think, I can't remember who could be the Amethyst. But then again, it could be a current player. Oh man. I can't remember who's the That was my cue to go, Nick. Gail Goodrich. Let's go, Bucky Gitter. Hard to use him though, because he's so short. That is his only downfall. Short short shooting guards. Back to back amethyst to end it? Okay, 2K is blessing me. Last pack. 2K bless me. Back to back Gil Gil Ridges, right? Oh, this is James Harden. So I get a little bit of MT back from James Harden. Third on up, beard. So that's what I pulled in my pack opening here today, guys. Didn't hit the jackpot. The best card we did get was Amethyst Gil Goodrich. Um, we'll have to see how everything else goes, but pack open, I spent about 180, 